Hello my little cheeselets. El Gran Queso here with a new playthrough of what is actually a new game that only came out today. I'm going to be playing through and I promise you I'm going to try and do at least an hour every day on this until I'm done. This is Dragon Quest Eleven. Um, Echoes of the Elusive Age. It's been a while since I played a Dragon Quest game. Um. I don't even know if this is actually like um Yes, I'm happy to name Kesso. Right. There we go. I hope this is still recording. Are you happy with this brightness? Yes, I am happy with the brightness. Invisible things. I don't really know anything about the story on this. This child, he is the one, he has the mark. There's no mistaking it. You, baby.
you doing here? And after that awful storm, too. However did you survive? <laughs> You're a jolly one. What's this? So this is just basically the plot of Willow. Apart from the person finding him is a lot taller. Several years later. Quite pleased, I don't really want to play as a little baby. Floating tree. You're a lifesaver. Trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. <sighs> so it's finally here, the big day. I can't believe we're going to be climbing all the way up there. Hmm? <laughs> Ugh, dogs. <laughs> Looks like Sandy's keen to lead the way. Come on, best not keep her waiting. <laughs> Yay, I can do something. Right, following the dog. Woof, woof, woof. Oh, people. I'm going to talk to you if you've got an exclamation mark. You know the mayor and your mother are waiting to see you off at the top of the steps, don't you? Don't keep them waiting, dear. Oh, and remember, you if you've ever in need of some advice or you're stuck for what to do, have a chat with folks with pretty pink speech bubbles above their head. Just like me, just press square to look at the map. You can't miss us. While you're looking at the map, use R to reach a direction. Oh, there's the map. Right, upstairs we go. Ooh. Right, that's going to be issues if I push down there. There's someone. Queso, seeing you and my dear Gemma all set up for your big day makes me proud as anything, both as a mayor and as a grandfather. You're not kids anymore, you know. No, you're grown up now, and that means going to the tour and offering your thanks. Now it's time you are on your way. Head up to the top, give praise to the spirit of the land, then come back down and tell us how you like the view. Oh, and if you're ever unsure what to do next, press triangle and select party talk. Gemma might have some useful tips for you. Just look at you, Kessel, my little boy, all grown up. Now be sure to look after Gemma, you hear, to think you've been irres inseparable since you were tiny and here you are about to climb the tour together oh and if you ever get ever you lose your way just follow sandy that dog's got more sense than any of us off you go now dear i know you two will be just fine and i'll make sure there's a delicious supper waiting for you when you get back it better be delicious something with cheese Hello. Right. Off we go. Up the tour. Oof, that's a long way up. Humble folk of cobblestone. Great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? Probably. My granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since I was little. 
He reckons the spirit of the land really does live on cobblestone tour, you see. Awesome. As long as I can remember, he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous errand. What if I take a tumble and do myself a mischief? Well, not to worry. Since you and me were born on the same day, I'm lucky enough to have a bodyguard along for the journey. Come on then. That craggy old thing won't climb its... Oh. oh no, little blue blobby things. Monsters! They're coming this way. Luckily, I've got a sword. <laughs> They're so happy. Bite! Attack! Let's attack Slime Sea. Oh, Sandy attacks as well. Leave the dog alone! Well, they bet the dog than me. Right, we attack Slime B if Slime A is powered by. Slimes are defeated. Kessel receives six experience points. Kessel acquires six gold coins. The slime drops a treasure chest. Where from? A medicinal herb. That's because I took some damage. Crikey! I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I know they were only little, but I'd have been done for if you and Sandy hadn't been here to help me. Yep, dog doesn't care. Dog's off. And now we've got to go through that horrible, dingy cave. Just our luck. I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things Probably. came from. Well, as long as you're with me, I've got nothing nah. to worry about. Debatable. Come on, let's get going. Right. Oh, this way. I want to go this way. What's up here? Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. Blessed are we since she said that already. Anything behind it? Oh yeah, look at that little sneaky treasure chest. Pot lid. Hmm. Is would would the pot lid by chance be Oh I can jump. Um, equipment. Okay, so I'm going to use the pot lid as a shield. Right, I'm off. I think I need to do just my own. Um, okay, I don't think I can change the controls. I'm gonna invert my X and Y axis. Into the dark cave we go. Cobblestone tour. Woof woof woof. Right. Oh, good. It's locked in, so I'm not going to fall. I know the dog went the other way, but... I 
want to see what's up here. See something sparkling. A medicinal herb. Yeah, I know, doggy. Can we just drop down? Yep. I want to kill this slime. There are more monsters, but I don't think they've spotted you yet. You should sneak up and try and surprise them. Right. Get close enough to the monster and the small orange arrow will appear just above. Press X and you'll give them a weighty wallop with your weapon low in the HP before the battle begins. Yay, by one. Awesome. Two of them? What do you mean they... Yeah, yeah. Slime B. You're dying. Yeah, I'm getting them. Don't worry. Whatever your name is. Gemma. Yeah, I know. Crumbs, right? You're a bit helpless, woman. Why can't I have like a decent lady as accomplishment? I'm getting them. Tough little blighters, no, aren't not they? really. Woof, woof, woof. Yeah, one. How are they getting the first attack when? Leave the dog alone. Can the dog even die? Don't worry, I got it. Slimes are defeated. Kill the funny bunny thing. <laughs> funny bunny thing. Ooh, look at those. A group of needlers appear. They got needles. Needler bee. Well, at least needler bee just did a little dance. Yes, they are. Well done. Yay! Level increase from one to two. Wow, new spell land. Frizz. Oh, not spells. Yep, yep, the dog, there's a way down here. And so far this game's taught me if I go the way you don't want me to go, I find stuff. Oh, heroes and breaking pots. Can I swim? That would be a no. I cannot swim. Swimming is important, children. Make sure you learn. Woof, woof, woof. Here we are, Sandy. Don't worry. Shiny. Shiny, 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 shiny. Chunk of copper ore. Oh, come on then, Needler. Let's take you out. What have I spelled with you, Frizz? Ooh, that's good. I've used my magic power. <laughs> oh, she's just laughing now. He <laughs> just murdered two little critters. Look at all 
this fog? Is this normal, do you think? Probably is, isn't it? Help! Help me! Oh no. Who needs help? What? Cole! Oh, not Cole. Yeah, that's a scarier no! thing. Quick, you have to help. No, I don't have to. I could let Cole die. Yeah, you grunt like that. It's not fog at all. It's more monsters. Mikey, indeed. Right. Smog. Smog takes damage. And a free smog be. Oh dear. Oh dear. Sandy, it's all up to you now. Don't give up. Oh. Do my art. Oh, thank you. I missed. Here you go. Oh, awesome. Crumbs. Yep, crumbs indeed. Oh dear, spells, frizz. Let's take out smog. Yes, that's one down. You bark at that smog. Um, I'm gonna frizz again. I'm not sure if smog is actually susceptible to normal attacks. No, it is. Phew. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. 40 XP. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thanks. Level three. I'm sorry, Gemma. I only came up here because I thought it'd be funny to jump out and surprise you. But then those monsters appeared. Well, what lessons learned. What is going on? I never heard anything about monsters appearing on the tour before. But never mind that now. Whatever were you thinking? You could have been killed. You take Sandy and get back to the village this instant. Y yes, Gemma. Sorry, Gemma. Yeah, but I like the dog. It helped me a lot. Don't send the dog with the kid. I didn't care about Cole. Oh, man. That dog was so helpful. You saved my bacon again. <laughs> I knew you were tough, but crikey. You really have grown into quite the hero. Flirting. Even I recognise that. And I'm terrible Not at recognising those things. Now. Far enough. And it's raining, just like the day when he was a child and had to run away from Headless Horseman. <gasps> Are they coming back? He's pretty nimble on a rope. This way to the top. Watch your step. <laughs> nope, she doesn't do that. She doesn't have that animation. Did she just appear? Yes, she does.
across to the top. Here we are at last. Yeah. Must have taken us like 25 minutes. Oh. It's such a shame about the weather. I was really looking forward to that view. Well, we better say the pair and get this ceremony over with, eh? How would anyone know? There's no one there. What, what was that? Probably a big bird. Ah! You're gonna kidnap her for me. Don't see that every day. Why did I do that on the slimes? We're alive. But how? That, that great big flash of lightning. It was almost like you made it happen. I did. Look, the mark on your hand. Huh? Oh, it stopped. Well, we can worry about that later. Yeah, for the best. All I know is that you saved me yet again. I don't know what I'd do without you. Now, we really had better be finishing up this ceremony. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. Lift your voices up in prayer, sing it across all our drear. Blessed are we since days of yore, let it be so forevermore. As the weather got better, I'm not looking. Don't need you to tell me. No, he looked. It That's just goes thumbnail. on and on and on. Whoever dreamed up this ceremony must have had this in mind. They wanted to show us how huge our world really is. Sounds reasonable to me. <laughs> well, that's it. It's all over and now we're grown-ups. Should we head down and tell Grandad and everyone? Yeah, They'll why not? They'll be waiting for us at then the bottom. Then we can have sex. Might need that bit out. Oh, so I've got to go down again. Can't I just jump? See, Link would have a paraglider. And just do yeah, yourself yeah, down. Kesso and Gemma make their way back to the bottom of the tour. Cobblestone tour base. Yay. Hello, dog. We Hello. Oh, we're going over that. Well done, you two. So glad you could see it. All right, thank goodness you're safe. Indeed you are, my dear. 
Thank the spirits for that. Yes, thank them. When we saw lightning striking up there, we got a little worried, I have to tell you. <laughs> hmm? Beef? <laughs> well, I never. Sounds like it's nothing short of a miracle that you made it back in one piece. Well, there's no doubt about it. The spirit of the land was watching over you. Now tell me, my dear. How was the view from the top? Oh, it was wonderful. I saw the sea stretch into the horizon and the sunlight playing on the water and... Oh, I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> You're true cobblestonians now. Only we have the pleasure of looking out over the world of Erdria in such breathtaking fashion, you know. I am still young, and the day may yet come when you decide to leave Cobblestone behind. I hope our Probably. little ceremony has opened your eyes to a little of what may await you out there. <laughs> now, it's high time we were heading back. I'm sure your mother is eager to hear how things went, young man. Don't keep poor Amber in suspense. I won't. Well, technically, I'm adopted. I really hope you told me. Home time. Hmm. You, the village. Award for ascending the top of Cobblestone Tour and completing the ceremony that's significant to the onset of adulthood. Trophy earned, coming of age. I wonder if that counts as a rare one. Because. So the ceremony is all done. Congratulations. Now you tell me you've forgotten where you live in all the excitement. You know, I look like a douche, don't I? Just follow the paving stones. You'll soon find your way back. Oh, but you must be tired to be forgetting that you should head home and put your feet up right but what's up there oh, there's a ladder ascend ascend the ladder make Gemma disappear go 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 Yay, I found something. An amateur, amateur itemologist. Am I actually collecting stuff in here? Yay, stealing someone's gold. Is that it? Mm, apparently I can pull off things. Uh, and I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's all good. It's all good. Right. I'm back to the paving stones. Follow the bluey grey paving stones. Follow the bluey grey paving stones. Do I live here? No, you don't like my mum. Oh, I recognise that dog. Woof woof. That map hasn't always been there, has it? Is this where I live? Is it? Oh! Here's my little soldier! Well, not so little anymore. 
I've heard all about your big adventure. Who from? Look at you, all grown up. I hope he wasn't too much of a bother, Gemma dear. <laughs> of course not. Uh, it's because Gemma wants Quite me. Quite the opposite, in fact. You would have been proud of him. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour, and I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. But you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up, and a bolt of lightning hit the monster. What did you say? She said the mark on his hand lit up. That funny little mark? Lightning flying about the place? Goodness me. Here I was hoping he'd turn out nice and ordinary, but it seems his grandfather was right all along. Well, I've been putting this off for long enough now. You and me need to have a little talk. Here, this belongs to you. Could have done this when you were a kid, you know. Would have made things a lot less awkward. Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. The truth is, there's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. It's... how can I put this now? Um... Well, he said you're... You're the reincarnation of the Luminary. What? Oh, don't that ask me what the old fool meant, dear. I haven't got the foggiest. All I know is that your grandfather said you had a special destiny and that there was something you had to do. He said that when you came of age, you were to head north to the capital, up there in Heliodor, and show that necklace thingy to the king. He seemed to think that if you did that, all would become clear. Clear Fair as enough. mud, I shouldn't wonder. Anyway, the long and short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about, you'll have to leave Cobblestone and head over to Heliodor. Oh no, let's hope Gemma doesn't come with me. Crikey. Oh, she's crying. <laughs> well, I can't stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't be marching on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the reincarnation of the luminary. Keso tries his hardest to sleep, but he's too confused by everything he's learned and excited about his coming trip. Eventually. Loading. <laughs> okay, my little cheeselets. I think that's enough for episode one. It's a nice little rounded place to finish where we've gone up the top of the tour. We met a bird, we struck it with lightning, came back down, had some dinner. Now we're ready to set off into the world of Dragon Quest. Until next time, remember, there's a like button, there's a dislike button. Choose one, but please, choose wisely. If you want to subscribe, I promise you, I promise, I know I've got a really bad track for this and my like videos all over the place, but I really promise you, I am going to get through Dragon Quest and I'm going to upload a video at least twice a week that's commitment for you admittedly I can't do one tomorrow because I'm working away and Thursday I can get one done Thursday Friday I can't Saturday Sunday my girlfriend's here so and you know I'll probably be with her Monday so there we go Dragon Quest 11 playthrough Kesso doing it next time catch you later <laughs>